Despite the Dolphins' winless record, Miami fans turned out in style to watch their team try again against the Buffalo Bills. The Dolphins' positive attitude toward this game was demonstrated early as Larry Zaka exercised his theory of the shortest distance between two points. When a team fails to win, the quarterback takes more than his share of the blame. Therefore, Bob Greasy set out to vindicate himself. His 41-yard scoring toss to Larry Seifel gave Miami a quick lead. Once again reminded and battled Buffalo coach John Roush that he is no longer with the Oakland Raiders. Bill cornerback Butch Bird, number 42, came on a blitz and discovered that even a defensive back can be foiled by a Bob Greasy scramble. Jim Kick took over and did some impressive scrambling of his own as he turned a broken play into a 53-yard touchdown. In the past, the Dolphins have had at least one glaring weakness, a lack of speed. This year they have number 22, Mercury Morris. Unfortunately for Miami, this brilliant run was nullified by a penalty, but there will be others. In the second half, Roush went with quarterback Dan Darrow, who had returned to the Bills from the service only the week before. But the hard luck Dolphin defense had all the inspiration they needed, and for the first time this season, the ball started bouncing their way. Even on a day when everything goes just right, the game of football involves a few hard knocks. Greasy had another completion, but number 24, Jack Clancy, wondered if it was worth it. Kick scored once more to cap a 24-6 Miami victory. And often coach George Wilson had earned a well-deserved, if somewhat uncomfortable, first victory ride. 